Greetings to the viewer. We are Mom Secondary School. The problem that we're facing as a school is lack of textbooks. Not every learner in our school has their own textbook for each and every subject. A textbook is often shared in pairs or by a group of three to four learners. This presentation will be taking you through the initiative we've come up with as teachers as a solution to the problem we're facing. Basic education is one of the constitutional rights in South Africa. Thus, every learner has the right to basic and quality education. However, numerous schools in rural areas are often in short of textbooks, forcing the learners to share in pairs and sometimes in groups. Rotation of a textbook within a group may delay one's progress as they may have to study at the time not convenient for them as the book has to be passed to the next person. Education is one of the basic needs for human development and to escape from poverty. This is supported by Sifa Kuma and Savalingam on their writing of 2010. It is important for the development of the state and a successful nation. According to Raman and Eudin, the government should use the national resources to manage the education. The education should be of quality. In order to have quality education, there must be a quality assurance which can be achieved if the educators are properly trained and have the resources to spread the quality education. The resources include textbooks and other study materials. It has been experienced several times and it is well known that schools in rural areas of South Africa are faced with late delivery of learning and teaching materials, including textbooks and infrastructure such as tables and chairs. On the 11th of January 2017, in Polokwane, News24 reported that desperate educators at Limpopo schools are recycling stationery from 2016 and sharing textbooks among purpose after the education department once again failed to deliver learning materials. Later on the 27th, it was reported in Polokwane that the South African Democratic Teachers Union, SATU, in Limpopo has given the education department three weeks to resolve issues surrounding learning materials for both pupils and teachers, or it says it will force schools to close. We therefore recommended and came with a solution to our school that we should make copies to ensure that every learner can have their own copy. Copying and printing may be of major challenge as proper equipment may have to be purchased and maintained. Papers and ink cartridges will be needed every day to ensure that the copies are colored and of a high quality. The budget for the school is not enough as there are some other activities such as sport and choral trips to be covered. Therefore, to raise funds to ensure that the study materials are in place for all learners, on Fridays, learners will wear casual clothes at a payable amount of five friends each and those who decide not to will pay 10 rands each this is exceptional for the learners identified as disadvantaged and may be allowed to contribute the little they can the second solution in place is to make a vegetable garden in school which will sell the vegetables to the community members at an affordable price. Accounting is the center of attention because it ensures that principles such as ethical behavior, transparency, and accountability are adhered to. It deals with the logical system making and accurate selection and recording of financial information and transactions, as well as the compilation, analysis, interpretation, and communication of financial statements and managerial reports for use by interested parties. The, the project is centered around accounting subject because it involves analyzing, recording and management of financial information in order to obtain project maximum project satisfaction. Financial planning, preparing the financial plan which projects revenues, expenditures and financing needs over a given period. 
how do we get this funding? Every Friday, all learners are required to work casual and they will all contribute five rand. The school has 900 learners. Learners who are identified as being extremely poor are exempted from paying. There are 50 learners who are exempted from paying the casual day fee. Participation in this casual day is compulsory for all learners unless if the learner or the parent provide proof that he or she cannot participate in school in school casual day due to religious beliefs, illnesses, etc. etc. Learners who will not be wearing casuals on Friday will pay 10 rand. The program will also receive funding from local businesses and donations. The school will also receive income from selling fruits and vegetables produced in the garden. The distribution of profit, 20% of the profit will be used to purchase the printing machines. 20, another 20% of the profit will be used to purchase printing expenditures such as ink and paper. 40% of the profit will be used to purchase school furniture. 20% of the profit will be used to maintain the garden. Why do we distribute this income this way is that learners have shortage of textbook, therefore the purchase of printers to be able to produce cost-effective, high-quality, short-run color printing in order to print textbooks in the fastest possible time frame. The school lack furniture and learners are forced to write on chairs and others on their knees. It is imperative for us to maintain the garden because we'll be selling fruits and vegetables and therefore receiving income. Income and expenditures. We estimate that when learners are paying five rand each on, on every Friday, in a quarter we will make around 42,500 rand. Our expenses also we estimate that it will be around 39,000 rand per quarter. The remaining profit will be, will be, will be kept in the, in the school so that it will maintain the project. My role as a business teacher is to come up with SWOT analysis of the project. Our strength is that we have leadership and management skills, research and development capabilities, social media skills and able to use social media to our advantage by attracting people and making them aware about our garden. We produce high quality food in our garden. Our weaknesses is that the community is poor and will be difficult to gather funds. The opportunities that we go around the community asking business to help with the funds. People in the community have to go far to get vegetables and food. This will be our advantage because when we operate our gardening in school, we will receive support from the community and able to raise enough funds. The threat is that learners will have a casual day every Friday and will pay five rain. Some parents might think the school is spiraling out of control and not focusing on studies and teaching. We produce high quality vegetables and foods and some people might not like our pricing because some businesses produce quantity and not quality and the prices are very low. That will be a threat to what we are hoping to achieve. Geography is one of the subjects known of linking human interactions with their environment. The aims of geography include ensuring that learners are guided towards developing the following knowledge, skills, and attitudes. 1. Describing and explaining the dynamic interrelationship between the physical and human worlds. 2. Creating awareness and sensitivity to inequality in the world. From Social Sciences Grade 9 to Geography Grade 12, learners are taught of the importance of resources such as water and soil. My duties involve ensuring that other teachers of the same subject are involved and their learners take part in ensuring that the soil is worked on and plants are watered when topics around the soil and water usage are covered. The timetable must ensure that once a week, every class has geography or social sciences period towards the end of the school day to ensure that learners do not have other periods to attend after working on the garden. The topics around poverty and inequalities will be covered using the main goal of these two projects as they expose learners to reality and how to deal with social issues. Geography will support this project throughout the year. In grade 11 geography, the garden will be an experimental zone and learners will further help in watering the crops and making sure that the proper methods of farming have been applied as per lesson outcomes. 
At the end of term one, the topics involve Africa's weather and climate, drought and desertification. Learners will get to understand why all crops cannot be planted in one garden and it will further help them understand seasons of the year. Learners will get to understand why and discuss the causes and impacts of drought and desertification together with the precautionary measures such as irrigation and farming methods. In the end of term two, topics around slopes, mass movement and human responses are covered. Learners will get to understand the impacts of slopes on vegetation and why would they promote mass movement. In term three, topics around development, such as development issues and challenges, role of development aid will be covered. Education is one of the indicators of development and development aids are very important to boost the development of the country. The entire project creates an understanding of development barriers and what alternative development is. In term four, topics around resource usage and soil and soil erosion are covered. Importance of water and soil, factors affecting soil fertility and water supply will be explored. The learners may use the garden as their case study to assess the garden throughout covered topics in geography to ensure that all the knowledge has been applied in geography. In life orientation, our specific aims to this project is to prepare learners to take responsibilities and opportunities to life's challenges, okay? It is to guide learners to make informed and responsible decisions about their own health and well-being of others, all right? As a result, our school is currently facing um, textbook issues, which delays the process of learning. Therefore, as a school, we have agreed to engage in a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, uh, such as casual day and uh, developing a school garden in order to raise funds. The casual day will be held as a weekly fundraising project that will encourage learners to come to school as they'll be wearing differently. This project will encourage learners to contribute financially by donating with five rand, not only to raise funds, but also to raise an awareness of the challenges that we are facing as a school. Our program to raise money will also give learners the experience that will help them to prepare for their life after high school. The school garden will give the community and the school the opportunity to access fresh fruits and vegetables uh, which will be sold at an affordable price. The school garden will get children to learn about nutrition as the garden will be used to teach almost any subject from science to art. The school garden will also teach learners business skills uh, and so forth. As a life science teacher, we believe that the garden project will best answer some of the key issues in our community and our school in particular. Agriculture fits well within our grade 11 life science, so it can be used as an educational tool. From our CAPS document, in term 2 we've got a topic on animal nutrition. This covers issues around homeostatic control, looking at different food intake, energy, growth and health. Also in term 4, we've got a topic on human impact on the environment. Uh, this includes uh, the issues around population growth, uh, deforestation, food security, and our contribution towards the climate change. Establishing a garden definitely has a number of benefits, be it health, economic, and psychological benefits. Let's look at some. Number one, the garden is fairly cheaper to maintain. Since the community is poor and our school is very poor as well, it would not cost us a lot of money to maintain such a project. Number two, eating freshly harvested vegetables promotes healthier living standards. Since the garden itself will provide us with this nutritious food that will stuff away many uh, chronic illnesses as well, nourish our body so that we can live healthy. 
Number three, our environment benefits immensely out of out of this project since the green uh, uh, the green crops and the plants that we we will be planting in our garden are the ones responsible for reducing the greenhouse gases and giving back the much needed oxygen so this will also counter the effect of the global warming and the climate change number four it should should this project be successful there will be money that will be generated and this is what we need in our school as well touching on the element of the psychological benefit i'll just mention a few working in the garden will bring about an opportunity to reconcile the learners amongst themselves or the learners and the teachers by bringing what I can call a social cohesion. So this will reunite the community in the school. Number two, looking back at the, uh, the vegetables that you have grown, you will have this sense of good feeling, boosting your self-esteem, having a sense of self-worth, having accomplished something positive in life. Number three, Making a habit of going out there in the garden to work it out will be as good as a formal exercise. So this is good for your health, uh, for your heart health. Number four, uh, being in a garden, by the virtue of just being in the garden, this will potentially reduce the level of stress, which is our number one or one of the most uh, health risks that we are facing in our lives today. My own contribution as the history teacher to this project is premised in the understanding that the study of history supports citizenship within a democracy by upholding the values of the South African constitution and also helping people to understand those values. It also reflects the perspectives of a broad social spectrum so that race, class, gender and the voices of the ordinary people are represented. It also encourages civil responsibility and responsible leadership, including raising current social and environmental concerns and also prepare young people for local, regional, national and continental and global responsibilities. And with that in mind, we employ this whole understanding in terms of how we are going to contribute towards this project. Because our aim is to generate enough funds to purchase textbooks by the end of the year, we have taken it upon ourselves to try and raise funds, not just as a school, but also through other projects that we can embark on in order to generate the funds we need to buy the textbooks by the end of the year. Since the project runs throughout the year, my subject would contribute by organizing both casual day that will run within the school for a five rand fee. We will also utilize the September month as the history class in order to do cultural events. These in turn will help the grade 10 learners who have as one of their themes, heritage and legacies under the topic transformation in Southern Africa. As a history teacher, I have the responsibility to encourage my learners towards their civil responsibility and, the resp and responsible leadership. As such, they will be encouraged to get involved in the project by means of assisting with the casual day events and cultural day events. Each class from grade 10 to 12 will be asked at some point to render an item during assembly in order to encourage the rest of the learners to attend and pay a 5 free 